with me this afternoon and she's going to read any comments that you might have so be sure to ask those questions or make comments we love to hear what you have to say and to try to answer those questions and if you have questions after the live is ended don't hesitate to continue to ask those questions we will come back in the comments and try to answer anything that you might have so I just got hooked to this nice wreath on my sweater I love it when that happens let's see if I can get loose all right so miss Jane how do you say her last name Victoria um, Angel, Angle, Angle, Angel, Miss Jane. We might be we might be tearing up your last name. I am so sorry, Miss Jane. One of our followers asked if we would make a Valentine wreath. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to make a fun Valentine wreath. I'm going to work with just a grapevine wreath. I want to say this is 18 inches. Um, just a grapevine wreath. We actually purchased these from our wholesaler. You can pick these up at any craft store. Walmart even carries grapevine wreaths. They're not always um, the greatest at Walmart, but I know you can pick them up at any of the craft stores. So this is just a regular grapevine wreath. And so I was at the Dollar Tree, and I don't know if you have a Dollar Tree. I know um, they also have them at different craft stores. They have cute signs at the craft stores. They have um, cute signs at the Dollar General store. This one actually came from the Dollar Tree. So it costs $1.25 and it says welcome. I realize that it's probably, is it backwards or is it, can you read it? You can read it. Woo! You can read it. So on my phone it was always backwards. Um, but it says welcome and it's just in the pink and red. It has some cute fun hearts. I thought we would use this welcome sign in the center of our wreath. Um, I am just making this wreath for the flower shop. We are going to put it on our entry door just for fun. So I am going to take this sign. It's actually got a little um, hanger. Are people talking to us, Victoria? Um, yes. From YouTube, Miss Kathy Nielsen says, yay, happy to catch you live. So glad you're here, Miss Kathy. Welcome, welcome. Um, Kathy Riddle, this is from Facebook. Kathy Riddle asks, what size is the wreath? So it's an 18-inch grapevine wreath. And um, you can use really any size you want. But this is, um, I find an 18 inch fits pretty well on any door. Um, so what I did was I just took a zip tie and I just zip tied my um, little sign directly to my wreath. By, it has a little hanger, so I just zip tied it to the wreath. Um, I'm gonna take my snips And I am going to just snip that little tab of that um, zip tie off. And I'm going to throw that away. And so I just placed my, um, my sign in the middle of the wreath. Now this is actually just going to hang on our door here at the flower shop. So um, I'm not going to attach it anymore. I'm going to put us a cute bow here and a cute bow down there. And then we're going to add some pretty greenery, some flowers. Um, so... We have, um, we have several trucks that come by that actually, they're wholesale trucks and they have some fun re ribbon. So I just picked up several different types of ribbon I thought would go really well for Valentine's Day. Now, there is a website that you can go to and it's called The Craft Outlet. It has very inexpensive ribbon and it is so so cute so if you wanted to order some online you can certainly order order it from the craft outlet all of this we just got off a truck um so i thought we would make some fun valentine -y looking bows so i'm going to start out making a bow first for my wreath i'm going to actually make two my thoughts are i'm going to put a bow up here at the top and then I'm going to put a bow down here at the bottom. So I'm going to start out with, let's see, I'm going to start out with the pink stripes. Let's do the red stripes first. I'm going to start out with some red stripes. Now tell me, is everybody hearing me well? With this system, we've had a little bit of trouble with people hearing. So if you would give me a thumbs up or a heart, if you can hear me, that would be wonderful. Um, 
because we're just, this is trial and error. And if you're having a hard time seeing me over on Facebook, um, I know that I seem far away on Facebook. If you will take your phone or your device and turn it sideways, you're going to see me full screen and it's going to be a little closer. Um, I know that it's, it's been a struggle learning all these fun things. <laughs> I'm gonna take my ribbon. All of this ribbon is wired ribbon. So I'm just gonna make, I think I'm gonna do probably a couple of loops with my red stripe. So I'm just gonna do two loops and I'm leaving my tails long. Um, Kimberly Skinner says hello from Oklahoma. I'm so glad you're doing a live on making a wreath. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm glad to do it. Anytime you're interested in a certain something you'd like to be see, like to see, please let me know. We are so happy to to do things for you. So next, I'm going to do a solid pink. This is kind of a light pink, but I'm going to do a solid pink. So I'm just leaving. I'm going to lay that ribbon right behind the two loops that I did. I'm going to make two more loops. So you can see all I'm doing is layering to make a layered bow. Oh, sorry. They're Go ahead. Saying on Facebook and YouTube, they're saying that the sound is good. The sound is good. Yay, I'm so glad. And are they seeing everything okay? I believe so. We haven't heard, or I haven't seen anybody saying any different. Good, good, good. Okay, so look how cute this ribbon is. So it has some red and pink and white hearts and they're kind of layered hearts and it's kind of sparkly. I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera, but it's kind of sparkly. So some fun sparkly hearts. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do three loops with the sparkly ribbon, the heart ribbon. Um, Kathy Riddle says she can see everything fine. Yay, Miss Kathy, I'm so glad. All right, so you can see how I'm just kind of layering that bow, and then I'm going to add some polka dots just because they're just so darn fun. All of this ribbon makes me so happy. It's so fun to work with fun ribbon. And then I'm going to add the polka dots to the back. And I'm just going to put two loops of the polka dots. So this is going to be my top bow. Now I will say that one of the um, holidays that you can be tacky with is Valentine's Day. It's fun to do all this pinks and reds and whites and hearts everywhere. Okay, so there is my bow. I'm going to take a piece of florist wire and I've just left it long. I'm going to run it and lay it right up underneath my thumb. And I'm going to take that wire and I'm going to bend it and I have it between these two fingers and then I'm going to use my pointer finger to push it and turn it tight. So there is my loopy bow. And I have just layered ribbons that I think are pretty together. So you can do this with any style ribbon, whatever you think is pretty together it works okay so see how it's all the pinks and the reds and see how well it matches my pink and red um, sign I'm going to take this bow and using my wire I am just going to wire that bow right into place and I'm putting it up here at the top not straight I'm kind of putting it to the side so there is one bow I'm going to make one more. And if those tails are too long, you can always trim up those tails or you can push it right behind that little sign if you want to, however you would like. Um, from YouTube, Shaz Meyer says, Aloha from Hawaii. Hello, welcome. I'm so glad you're here with us. He says, all is clear as far as video, and you can be heard just fine here in the Aloha State. Wonderful. Thank you for being here. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so for this bottom bow, I am going to make my streamers longer. It's going to be a bigger bow down here at the bottom. So I am going to make it exactly like I made the first one. I'm just going to leave my streamers longer. I'm going to start with my stripes. And instead of, well, I'm going to do it exactly the same. 
and we will do our tails longer at the end. I'm going to take, instead of doing just two loops on my red stripes, I'm going to do three because I'm going to make my bow a little bigger. So let me tell you how I'm doing it. I'm taking and holding the ribbon, holding the tail. This is what I would consider the tail. And I'm making a loop. I'm going to do a twist. And I'm twisting because I want the stripes on the front of the bow. I'm going to make another loop. I'm going to twist, another loop, twist. And then I'm going to leave this tail a little long. And let's see where I laid my scissors and all of my mess. I see it. And I'm just going to cut that tail. Now, let me tell you, sometimes, are we okay? Okay. Miss um, <laughs> Sherry Sally asks, what gauge of wire do you use for tying bows? I like 21 gauge wire. It's not too heavy, but it's not too light. Um, 21 is my go-to for most everything. Um, I do do a lighter gauge for corsages and boutonnieres, um, but 21 gauge works just fine also. So I like to just layer on top of the ribbon. Um, if it gets too much for you to hold this ribbon in your hand um, and you would like to tie it off, be sure to go ahead and tie that off. It's not going to hurt a thing if you tie it in between. So you can take your wire and tie it, make your next bow, lay it on the back, twist it onto that bow, and then keep going. Um, it's really completely up to you, whatever you're the most comfortable with. The next color, I'm going to do the pink like I did on the top bow. I'm leaving those tails kind of long. I'm going to make a loop, twist, a loop, twist, a loop, twist, and cut my tails. So there we go. Next we're going to do our little hearts. Um, Karen Sullivan says, hi, love the design. My birthday, wedding anniversary, and Valentine's Day itself are all at once. Oh my goodness. So I hope you get a fancy gift for all of those holidays. Wow, a Valentine birthday would be so fun, I think. How fun, that is a fun birthday and anniversary and Valentine's Day. Now I will say I am glad that I, being a florist, that my birthday doesn't fall on Valentine's Day, but it would be very much fun if I wasn't a florist. <laughs> Valentine's Day is a hard holiday. Okay, so I did my hearts and now we're gonna do our polka dots. And like I said, you can go with whatever ribbons make you happy. You can do this with any holiday um, and layer ribbons. Um, whatever makes you happy works, guys. Okay, so there's our bottom bow. And you can see I left all my tails a little bit longer for this bow. <laughs> Kristen Weaver says, someone just stopped me in Lowe's and said, is that money? LOL, yep, you are shopping with me. Oh my goodness, Kristen <laughs> Weaver. Oh my goodness. That is hilarious. Okay, so I'm wiring it just the same, taking that bow, twisting it, and now I'm going to fluff it. So here's our bow. And when I, like, I, when I fluff a bow, I always try to hold that wire with that thumb. Sometimes it's hard to get this wire as tight as it needs to be, okay? And if you start pulling on these loops, you may pull your bow loose. So always hold that wire so you don't pull that bow loose, okay? So I'm just fluffing that bow. So there is our bottom bow. I'm gonna take that wire, if I don't throw it on the floor, and I am going to just tie that on the bottom of the wreath, and I'll, I'll lift it up when I get it twisted. So I'm just taking that wire, and I'm just doing a twist tie, just kinda like you do a twist tie. I'm just twisting it several times so it won't come loose. All right, so there is our top bow and our bottom bow. And I think I'm gonna, you can always adjust it and place it wherever you need it and however you want your tails. If those tails are too long, cut them off. Don't hesitate to cut them. 
but I always suggest leaving them a little longer than you think you might want them. It's always easier to trim them. You can't add ribbon to it, okay? Now, let me tell you a trick if you want to add more tails to this. You can take some streamers, cut them. I'll just show you real quick. Say you wanted more tails. Take your ribbon and cut it. And you can layer this just like we did the bow. Take you a piece of wire and go ahead and pinch that ribbon and place that wire on that ribbon. So this is your tails, okay? You can take this wire, stick it right into the center of that bow and wire it right onto that wreath. You can make as many tails as you want as long as you need them and you can trim them as you please. So it's really, really easy to add to, okay? All right, so there, honestly, that is cute all by itself, but we're gonna add some greenery and we're gonna add some flowers because isn't everything better with flowers? I think so. So we had a bush in the back and this was red, white, and blue, but I loved these peonies, and Miss Victoria went and pulled them for me, so I'm gonna take my wire snips, and I'm just gonna cut those two red peonies off, and I might be saying that so wrong, but I say peonies instead of peonies, but you can say it however you'd like. <laughs> and then she found these two pink ones. Look how pretty those are. Um, those two pretty pink ones. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to cut those. All right, so I got us a few flowers. It's all stuck in my drawer back here. So I'm going to take these flowers and I'm going to figure out kind of where I want them. So we're going to just tuck those into the grapevine wreath and I have my glue pan over here. Victoria, can you see my glue pan on that video? Um, yes, I think this one's it's better to be longer because they can kind of see how I work instead of having to pull it in front of um, It's a little harder for me on this video because I don't see myself <laughs> And when I see myself at least I can correct how things look But I'm just working blind over here. I'm just So this is a little bush of greenery that we bought. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is take several stems off of it. So I like to buy things in what we would call a little bush. I get a lot of stems and this is retail $7.50. So very inexpensive. Um, I'm gonna take it, especially when you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight stems of greenery for $7.50. That's less than a dollar a stem. So that's not too bad. I'm gonna take my wire snips and I'm gonna cut several pieces off of this little bush. Now, I like this color, but you can use really any greenery that makes you happy. And then I also had this cute, this one's a little more expensive. This one's $14.50 for this little bush, but it has kind of a paper tape on it and it doesn't necessarily have to be cut. It can just pull apart. And so when you have these little bushes, just be sure to kind of fluff them and breathe some life into them. When they come in, they're really kind of squashed down in a box, right? So just kind of fluff it and make it look as if it's naturally growing. Victoria, you're so quiet. <laughs> um, Are you trying to hear me? Yeah. <laughs> um, Brian Schmidt says, glad to catch you live for the first time this year. Hello from Middleton, Wisconsin, doing fine. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year to you. Okay, so I took it and I trimmed up the stems just a little bit. I'm going to dip it right over here into my glue pan. Now, if you have not seen me use a glue pan before, in the floral industry, there are actually small little craft glue pans that you can work with. Now, because we use...
pan a lot and a lot of times we tag team using the glue pan so Callie will be on one side making something silk and I'll be on the other side making a silk arrangement we find it's just easier to use a commercial this is like one that you would buy to fry at home so it's a frying pan that you can buy in the kitchen section at the local store like a Walmart or any kind of store okay um, our home goods or wherever. We like this pan because it holds more glue and we can both work at the same time. We use actual glue pill pellets. Um, and if you're interested in those pellets, I can link um, an Amazon link for you to show you where you can get those. Um, not terribly expensive. You just drop them right in. And we turn our pan onto 150 degrees. The consistency, so if your pan is a little different than mine, and they're all very different, um, the consistency the glue needs to be is about the consistency of honey. So if it's too, um, if it's too runny, it's going to drip and blister. Um, it'll, if it gets on your hands or what have you, it's going to blister your skin, okay? So if it's the consistency of honey, it usually will stay on the stem real good. It's not going to drip so bad. So I just take my stems, I cut them to the length that I need them, I dip them in that glue, and then I tuck them right into my grapevine wreath. Um, so, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're good. Um, Miss Shannon says, Happy New Year, sweet friend. God bless you for all the kindness you have shared, and I've shared your many tips to my homemakers club and friends. Oh, I am so glad. You're so welcome. I'm so thankful you're here with us. So I just dipped my stem and I'm sticking it right down, right below that bow, right into that bow. Now, all of the ribbon that I used is wired ribbon, okay? So if it gets squashed, it'll fluff, no worries. It fluffs right back up. So I had three pieces of the larger or the more expensive pick that was $14. I had three pieces, I cut it and I tucked two at the top and one at the bottom down there. So I just tucked that right in. Now next what I'm going to do is add a little bit of this. I don't even know what it is, but it's pretty. I'm gonna take these stems. I'm gonna dip them right in that glue. And I am just going to tuck a little bit of this greenery right down in that wreath. Now if that stem's too long, take your wire snips. And it's catching this sweater. Take your wire snips, trim it, dip it in that glue, and just stick it right into that grapevine. Now, if your weather is like our crazy Mississippi weather, we swing. Mississippi is, yeah, if you don't like the weather today, no worries, it's going to change tomorrow, okay? But, Mississippi, we swing from cold to hot, from cold to hot. And so even through Valentine's Day, like today it's probably, I think the high was probably in the mid 50s. Last week it was eight degrees. So we swing from warm to hot, I mean cold, you know, we swing. So if you have a problem with hot glue not staying, you can zip tie all these pieces down into this wreath. If you zip tie them, you're gonna guarantee that it's not gonna come apart, okay? Now this wreath in particular is just for the flower shop. So if anything comes out, it's okay. I'm gonna have the hot glue hot anyway. I can tuck them back in. Now, if I am going to sell a wreath, I am going to glue and then I'm going to zip tie because I want to make sure that that wreath lasts for several seasons. Okay, so there's our greenery. Really, quite honestly, the greenery is very pretty. It doesn't necessarily have to have any flowers, but I'm going to stick flowers just because I can. <laughs> so I have my peonies. Now, sometimes I like to go and figure out where exactly... I'm going to stick these flowers. I think I threw a couple on the floor. So I kind of stick them in, stand back and look at it. And then I'll pull them out and I'll glue them. So if, if you're not sure about where it should go, stick them in and then come back and glue them. We have these little red daisies. Stick those up there. 
So just stick them in and kind of play with it and make sure you're happy. And then you can come back and glue them into place. Now the um, snips that I like to use, I don't know if anybody's in need of some good wire cutters. These are cobalt. Um, I actually bought them at Lowe's. They are the best wire cutters that I have ever used. Um, they cut so well and we've had them for years so they really work good. Um, Bell's Bliss Design says, hey ladies. Hey friends, how are you? Um, Kristen says, so cute, and Miss Linda says, love the bow. Thank you, thank you. Doesn't the bow make it? To me, the bow is really what makes it. So I'm just taking those flower stems, I'm dipping them right into that glue, and then I'm sticking them right where I want them into that arrangement. And the wonderful part is, if you don't really like it there, pull that thing right back out and put it in the place where you want it, okay? So I'm taking some of these, um, some of these tails are just a little long, so I'm trimming those up because they're coming down over my little side. Okay, so I've got the top ones glued in. Now I'm gonna take the bottom ones, pull those right out, dip them in that glue. And I don't know about y'all, but my glue gets so messy with stuff. Well, of course you don't want to go down in there. So I'm just taking each stem, dipping it in that glue, and sticking it right down into that grapevine. Uh oh. Did you fix it? Snap. Can you hear me though? Yeah, you can hear me. Oh, we can hear you, but you just can't see anything. Um, and of course, Owen left us. Um, what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to close out. Um, I'm going to show you. I'll take a good picture of this. But we've got all of the flowers dipped, I mean, glued down in. And I am sorry. You know that we're learning. <laughs> this is a learning experience. So I apologize that our picture went out. Can you see if you can push a button? So what I'll do is I'll take a good picture. But we were just about finished. I just um, glued those last few little flowers in. Wait, let me see. Are we coming back? Okay, so I will take a picture and post this picture. Thank you guys for being here with us. I am so sorry the picture went out. I will be sure to take a picture of this pretty wreath and get it up so that you can see the final product. Um, and we will do our best to have this fixed tomorrow. Guys, thank you for being here. We appreciate you all so much.